All right, welcome everybody. Where I last left you guys, I had just got the ABS uh, all plumbed and wired, which I had mounted underneath the dash here. I figured it was also a good opportunity to just go over a few troubleshooting steps that you could go through if your ABS uh, is not working. Uh, it's a pretty easy standalone system. The first thing I would do if your ABS is not working is plug up to the OBD2 port and see if you uh, get any codes from it. I don't actually have mine wired up to the OBD2, so I can't really check to see if there's any codes. And I don't think there's anything wrong with my ABS unit. I've already gone through all the checks and everything checked out uh, well. At the end of this video, I'm gonna go test it because we actually got the perfect additions to test ABS. It is rainy and snowy outside, so that is the perfect opportunity to go see if the ABS works. Uh, so I'll be doing that here shortly. So if the codes don't lead you anywhere, the first thing that I would do is check the fuses, check main power. Uh, the only tools that you really need for this, it would be a multimeter. Fairyuseful.com has some really good information on what checks to do and some other information on the ABS units. But uh, main power comes in on pins 13 and 14 with your ground being on 15. So I got it plugged up to one of them. We got 12 volts coming through, so I know that my main powers are good. There's two main powers on these uh, four channel brake units. And then the next one you would wanna do is check your ignition that's on pin eight. And that would only be done with the, the key on. So if all those things check out, your grounds check out, your powers check out, maybe there's something wrong with your wheel speed sensors. So those can also be checked pretty easily. Uh, one thing you do is check the resistance. So you just go through each of the wheel speeds, checking the resistance between the, the two wires. So it's a twisted pair wire. So you just check the resistance between the twisted pair. One of them's ground, one of them's like the, the signal. And that should be basically between 1.2 and 2 uh, kilo ohms. I measured 1.5 to 1.7 kilo ohms on all four of mine. If those all check out good, you can also check if the wheel speeds are working. So you can hook up to those same wires that you check the resistance on, but you switch your multimeter to voltage and then change it to AC voltage. So how the wheel speed sensors work, they're a VR sensor. So when the, the tone ring goes around and it picks up the signal, it creates uh, a sine wave. So just AC voltage that will then send back to the ABS unit. That's how it gets its uh, wheel speeds from all four corners. So you can just measure that AC voltage with a multimeter. So I plugged that up. I went around and spun all of my wheels and I saw that I had AC voltage coming in on all of them. Uh, what the voltage is doesn't really matter, just that you are getting a voltage and it's not just staying at zero. So if all that checks out good and your ABS still is not working, maybe it's not seeing the brake pedal input. So that's another one that you can go test. That's on pin six of the ABS module. And that would be at zero volts when you don't have the pedal on and when then when you do push the pedal the brake pedal down you should see i think around 10 volts going to the the module and that's showing that you are seeing a brake input signal to it one other thing uh, to kind of tell if your abs is working when you turn on ignition you should hear it kind of do a couple little checks so Not sure if you were really able to hear that, but it does a couple little clicks that it's going through its little initialization setup procedure whenever it sees power. So that's another thing that you can turn on the key and see if you hear that. You might not be able to hear it in its factory location up in the engine bay, but you could have uh, an assistant turn the key on for you and as you listen for it. Then if all of those things check out good and your ABS is still not working, uh, it might just be a bad ABS module and then you have to change out the whole thing, unfortunately. Those things can happen. They are electronics. They are hydraulics in there. If something did fail internally, the only way to get it fixed is to replace that whole unit. Hopefully this helps to troubleshoot the 
Ford ABS found in the Mustangs in like a 99 to 04. The 96, 98 also had ABS, but some of the pins might be different on those, but the procedure for checking it is all the same. All right, I'm going to get the seat back installed here, get the, all the tires on, get the car ready, and then I'm going to go test this ABS. Hopefully it works. We will see here shortly. All right, so the ABS works. So I know that was super slow speed. It was just basically to prove that the ABS would engage. It wasn't to check any stopping distances or anything like that. It was just to check that the pump and electronics did actually work, which they did. So the car is all ready for the autocross event. The ABS install is finally complete. Thank you for watching. We will see you guys in the next video.